Hello there, I hope you're doing great today. Many years ago I was in a situation that you may be familiar with. I got into DTG printing and I felt lost. I had the underlying feeling that I need much more knowledge, but I did not know where to get all the information from. Of course, I learned how to use all the machines involved in the processes of uh, pretreating, printing and curing. That's easy. But I knew that there was so much more I needed to figure out to be successful. It is, for example, easy to set a dryer to a specific temperature, but how you find out which temperature you have to set your dryer to? And uh, why is my print looking so bad when the ones before look so great? Why is the color disappearing after washing? How can I do quality control? Which tests should I run to figure out the quality of the garments? Let me clarify one thing. I was not running a print shop. I was doing research and development for a DTG printer manufacturer. So it was my job to find solutions to exactly these problems day in and day out. I had the freedom to run lots of experiments and lots of tests, and I had the fantastic chance to work with extremely knowledge people from all kinds of suppliers, like uh, ink suppliers and uh, t-shirt manufacturers. I was very fortunate, and I learned a lot, and I'm still learning. So, one idea stuck with me for quite a few years, and... Um, this idea is one of the reasons why we started DTG Merch after all. We want to share our knowledge. That's why we created our DTG Printing Fundamentals online course and give you the knowledge and show you how you can apply it. I will link the course somewhere here. The following video is a free part of our course and I thought I would share it with you. The course goes very deep, and uh, this is only the introduction, but I hope you enjoy it. Are you ready? Hello there! In this part of the course we're going to talk about process overview. TTG printing is a method of uh, printing on textiles, most commonly on t-shirts. Just like your printer you have at home, you print ink directly on the surface of the garment. There are only a few processes involved with DTG printing. However, they all have uh, several factors that uh, influence each other and the final result. That's why knowledge is essential in all of these processes in order for you to get the best products. Before we dive deep into details, we would like to illustrate what we mean by this with an easy example. There is this analogy that we can use that shows more or less what you are dealing with in here. So let's start with a few questions for you. In your kitchen at home, do you know how to switch on the oven and how to set the correct temperature? I assume most of you are nodding your heads, although you should be thinking what does has to do with DTG printing. Just stay with me a little bit more. Do you know how to buy groceries in the supermarket? Yes? Fantastic! Do you know how to switch on a mixer and use this device? I assume you have replied yes again. So. By now we know that you uh, can handle lots of um, different devices in your kitchen. You know how to buy groceries, you know how to turn on the oven, and you know how to use the mixer. So now, if I ask you to bake a cake, would you be able to do it? Probably. How about a cake without a recipe? Would you be able to bake this cake without any instructions? You would need to know which ingredients you need, how much of each you will need, how to mix them together, 
and bake them at the correct time and temperature. Only then you will have a proper cake. Chances are high that uh, no, you would not be able to do it. Honestly, I would have no idea where to start with. Well, I believe I know a few things about DTG printing, but in terms of cake, my first attempt looked like this. And my girlfriend uh, graciously pretended that this was the best uh, birthday cake she ever got. Now that you finally stop laughing, what we want to show to you with this uh, cake analogy is this. You need to understand how things interact with uh, each other and the end result in DTG printing. Even when you know technically how to use all the machines involved, you will need to know and understand as well how all the processes interact to each other. You need a recipe for DTG printing. Just like baking a cake, it is totally possible to learn how to make perfect cakes. Um, T-shirts. T-shirts. So, what are the common steps for DTG printing? Let's have a look at a common task. For example, how to print on a black t-shirt. If you look for DTG printing on a black t-shirt, there are basically five processes. First, find a good design and send it to the printer. Number two, get a black t-shirt from your warehouse. Number three, since we are going to use the white ink on this black t-shirt, you need to pre-treat it. Then you print and then you cure. And when everything is ready, it's time for quality control. I hope that now you can understand and see how these processes have so many things in common with our cake analogy. In terms of groceries, you will need to buy all the necessary materials like uh, the pre-treatment, the t-shirt, the inks, the cleaners, and all other materials that you might need. The process of pre-treating and printing can be compared to like mixing the dough. You will need to know also the correct amount of the groceries you need to use in this uh, cake, like the pre-treatment amount, and you need to know how to apply them correctly. The curing part, you guess it, is like baking the cake. You need to have and you need to know the correct time and temperature to get a good result. Quality control is my favorite part of the process. You need to check if the result is good, right? And in case you are wondering about my cake, or my cake skills, after a lot of uh, trial and error, experimenting and testing, nowadays my knowledge about how to bake a cake had improved quite a lot. I may still not get any prize for the best and most elaborate cake in the world, but quality control has proved and tested, and uh, nowadays I can uh, make something better that actually resembles like a cake. So, just like I learned how to bake a cake with uh, correct training and learning, and information, you also can learn how to print fantastic t-shirts using the DTG technology. We will discuss all the necessary steps in great detail during this course. We want to try to help you gain a complete understanding of the workflow and uh, how to fine-tune all your settings to get consistent, high-quality output. Are you ready?